Good morning. It's a beautiful day in Clearwater, Florida. Welcome. Today we're going to go over FHA closing cost. Let's take some of the stress out of buying a home. Hi, this is Jack with the XP Realty in Clearwater, Florida, trying to reduce the amount of stress out there in the real estate transaction uh, one client at a time. Today, we're going to talk about closing costs. Uh, what are they and uh, how are they going to affect your transaction? Well, um, right now on the screen, I've got one of the tools I use. This is from Fidelity National Title. It's my uh, closing cost calculator. And right now, I've got it plugged in to an FHA loan for the maximum amount allowed in the Clearwater area, which is almost $500,000. That's a 3.5% loan. And uh, with an FHA loan, uh, your minimum credit score is 580. So this is a, a good product for a lot of folks out there trying to purchase a home. Um, other parameters I've got here is the uh, interest rate is currently 6.625. And I've got $5,000 in there for your annual homeowner's insurance premium. It is quite a bit more than it will be in other states of the nation due to our frequency of hurricanes. So uh, with all these parameters involved, we've got a monthly payment of $4,639. And to the closing table, you're going to have to bring somewhere close to $40,154. Um, what is, that breaks down to is your down payment of $17,439 and some prepaid and fixed cost. Uh, to, facil to facilitate the transaction. So uh, to that, we go here to detailed closing costs. And you'll see the prepaids are stuff like 14 months of insurance. You're going to pay up front, four months of taxes. And of course, the bank's going to want some in interest rates or interest payments right up front. Um, the title company has got their fees uh, for uh, conveying a clear title uh, to you as well as the lender has got all their fees for uh, whatnot. Now, uh, when I say you're going to bring almost this amount of 40000 to closing is because you will have some out-of-pocket along the, the way. Uh, you're going to be asked to pay for your appraisal uh, when they order it uh, before the close of the transaction, and you're probably going to have to pay for your home inspection uh, prior to the close of the transaction. So... Uh, other fees are all uh, related to the mortgage and, and state taxes for the deed and the mortgage. Um, let's see here. So if you're curious about what, well, maybe I don't want to go with the FHA loan. We've got a smart compare here. Let's see what we've got. Your loan shows 4639 40000 Now, if you went with the conventional loan, which is 3% down, you're not too much off. Your payment's a little bit higher. Uh, but you come to the table with $4,000 less. So uh, these are some of the things that we can play around with and, and have conversations about prior to going out and taking a look at homes. It takes a whole lot of stress out of the process when you know exactly what you got to bring to close and you know how much you got in the bank. So I can do this for FHA. I can do it for conventional, VA, uh, cash. I can do it three different ways to Sunday. So if you have any questions at all about... Uh, uh, any of this, or would you like a, an estimate for your own situation, uh, reach out to me down below. Uh, please follow me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.